Okay, so this question is asking us to apply the properties of integrals to do some evaluation of the integrals. So this is in section 5.2 in the textbook. And this is page, uh, what page is it? It's, uh, if you get the paper copy, uh, 537, it starts at the bottom of 537, 538. And there's just these different properties. Um, one thing, so uh, I'll, I'll take a look at, um, do I have to talk about them? Uh, I guess I'll let you go look at those folks, okay? Because it's, uh, and, and I'll talk about the ones I'm going to use as I'm solving this problem, okay? Um, so this first one is asking me to evaluate this derivative from negative two to six, but they only gave me from negative two to zero and then from zero to six. Uh, what they're asking me is to merge these two things together. So if you go look at that pro integral property table, you see how if I say a to b, you can split that integral anywhere you want. And they're just saying for some c. So you see how this number, and I know it's just c, but it's a number. See how this number and this number are the same? So we can add those together and mush them together as long as these are the same values. Okay, we're just splitting that area in half, splitting that, that integral in half. So that's what I did. Let's see, where's my work here? That's what I did here. See, they asked me to go from negative two to six. So I'm gonna add from negative two to zero and from zero to six. And I just grabbed the values they gave us. No real big math work too. This is about the properties, by the way. And notice that that number is zero and, and, that, and that's, that's zero too. See how those are the same values. We're able to, to merge them together and that's negative positive two. Of course, I got it right, thank goodness. Okay, and then this one, uh, see how it's the, usually, usually the integrals, when I have an integral, a definite integral, the lower number, the leftmost number on the x-axis or whatever variable we're dealing is, is on the bottom, the lower limit of integration. And the bigger number, the rightmost number is on the top. Now, if they're reversed, the property says, let's see, where is that property? Uh, right here. So if these are, if you want to reverse these and make the second, the highest number on top, you just flip the sign. Okay, and when we learn about the fundamental theorem of calculus, you'll see why. Uh, but just now, I would just say the goddess of math waved her hand and said, uh, this is what we do. And it's about areas, We're going backwards, right? Um, so you just switch it and, and change the sign. So for this question, yeah, they're asking me to switch it. So zero to six to zero. Here, come and come back and look at my work. So uh, six to zero, and then so it became zero to six. And notice the negative. Now, where the heck did that five come from? You see how there's a five right there? Well, the first time I did this, you see the scramble it out. I missed the five. I was more focused on the uh, the reversal, and I I messed up that five. So. What I did is I forgot to multiply the 98 by five. So I made the 98 negative, but then times it by five, that's how I got the negative 490. Uh, now this brings up another, another law, another, not another log property, another integral property that if I've got, if I have, where is it? If I have a, a constant multiplying a function inside the integral, I can just bring that constant out front, keep the work easier, worry about the function, and then just multiply the answer by five. Okay. So that's what I did there. I so I uh, so let's come back and look at my work. Uh, the negative nine nine four ninety. So I brought the five negative five, five. I brought the five out, made it negative to reverse the zero and the six, and then just multiplied that ninety eight by that. Okay. Now the next one. See how it's okay here? It's kind of like the same question. Um, uh, except here I'm going from I'm negative two to zero. So I'm using, I'm using, where am I? I'm going from negative two to zero. So I'm just using that, I'm just using that nine, negative 96, right? So I brought the negative five out. I didn't have to reverse anything. I got the negative 96 times negative five, got positive 480. And then this one's just another constant. Now, just because it's a fraction, people don't like that. 
But G, G of W over seven, isn't that the same as one seventh times G of W? So I just brought the one seventh out, took the 98 divided by seven. That easy, very useful, can simplify things in, in, in the future, okay? So take a, take a look, I would copy what I would do. I would either put a bookmark in your book or I would copy those, those down on a piece of paper because you're gonna see them often, okay? All righty, I guess I'll stop this video. Uh, yeah, I'll stop this video.